<laughs> so for us, you're Gigi. It's like choosing between my two children. <laughs> Rome or Paris? Oh, sorry, Paris. I have to choose Rome because I'm a big fan of the Roman Empire. I, but it's a close, it's a close one because I, I adore Paris as well. Attard is, 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 is beautiful, but Valletta is a UNESCO heritage site. It's gorgeous. I mean, it was built by Frenchmen, um, the Grand Master Jean Parison de la Vallette. He did all the uh, fortifications after the invasion of the Ottomans, so I have to choose Valletta. <laughs> Pastizis or pizzas? If I can answer this, for taste and to sin, pastizis, but they're very caloric. Um, to be a bit more healthy, my homemade pizza, Napolitan style. Oh, this is impossible. impossible. You can have one joker if you want. This is the joker, both. Um, I, yeah. met the, I met them both actually, fucking Phoenix. Vedro Puccini, definitely Puccini. <laughs> Pavarotti or Gigi? It's like choosing between my two children. I mean, it's. Uh, it has to be Pavarotti in that case. Definitely uh, Rigoletto because uh, the Duke is a psychopath and I love playing psychopaths. It's a difficult question. If it's a um, good modern production, nothing against, but I think that nothing tells the story better than a uh, vintage production, if done well. Vintage production with modern acting mm -hmm. is the ultimate. The score, the libretto was made for 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 the vintage production. So if you marry vintage production with modern accessories and modern acting, it's it's unbeatable. Oh, Spotify and Vino. Um, for ease, definitely Spotify. But if you had to put a gun at my head, Vino. The voices for opera. The voices sound better. It is analog, so definitely Vino. Ah, um, Sicily is very close to Malta, yeah. we're pretty much almost the same people, so we're talking about Bolivia Rusticana. Alright, it's oh. <laughs> uh, I'm singing in Barcelona soon, so they're going to kill me. Yeah. But um, the Royal Opera House of London has been my artistic home since I was very young. I debuted there as Traviata, I think. Uh, no, it's Rivoletto, when I was 22 or 23, mm. so I have to go with the Royal Opera House of London. Okay. Nessun Dorma and the Luciano alle Stelle. E Luciano alle Stelle because Nessun Dorma has always has almost become almost too kitsch. Everybody mm -hmm. knows it. And Luciano alle Stelle is such a movie moment. Mm -hmm. Cavarados uh, Tosca is not an opera for me. It's a movie. It's a film. Uh, it has three acts like a film, a pace that is like a film. Luciano alle Stelle is one of the arias I use with people to show them how opera is not boring at all. Mm -hmm. Their Mario is literally singing about love, mm -hmm. about sex, and about loss, mm -hmm. which is pretty much three very important ingredients mm -hmm. in our life. One theater I would love to sing at the Colón in Buenos Aires. It's one of the few theaters in the world where I haven't sang in mm -hmm. yet. Periton, and I would have to say Brent even though I've sung with him already. One soprano, it, it's maybe cliche, but I would love to sing, of course, Maria Callas. One opera, which I hope to sing one day, is definitely Othello. Oh, my God.